Hey everyone, so welcome to the weekly analysis. We'll analyze what happened in the week gone by that is from 18th September to 22nd. So 19th was a holiday, so it was a truncated week. We'll look at the uh, three indices, three main indices that is Nifty, mid cap and the small cap index. We'll look at accumulation in the broader market. What is the accumulation uh, telling us? And also, which are the charts that are looking good? Sectors as well as the uh, stocks that are looking good for the coming week. All right. So the accumulation has kind of dipped even lower. So in the last video, if you had seen that, I had said that uh, although the accumulation has come down, but it is still at the uh, average levels. But now in this week, it has gone even lower. So looks like some more consolidation should happen in the broader market until the overall accumulation improves. So the big guys are not really putting in fresh money in the broader market. Two reasons for this one is the US Fed thing that happened wherein they said that they might increase rates one more time, which will add additional pressure. So the bond uh, yields in the US markets, they kind of rose, which put uh, pressure on the Dow Jones as well as the Nifty. Second thing that happened was the India Canada ties, which are kind of uh, are not in a good terms, especially after what uh, Canada did. So that is also putting some pressure that might lead to some FIA selling also if there is some panic. So looking at all this, even the big guys are in a wait and watch mood until the all these kind of headwinds uh, get out of the way and they start pouring in money. But the good thing is. Uh, from october 5th the world cup is starting and usually whenever there is a world cup in any country the economic activity goes up last time uh, in the uk it generated about 36 billion rupees so it can be similar or even higher in india okay because usually tourists come in and they kind of spend in india and they'll usually visit most of these tourist spots so that should kind of help all your uh, hotel stocks, your airlines, right? Even your QSR and all of that. Okay. So this is about the accumulation. It has kind of dipped. Now looking at the three main indices. So if you look at Nifty, it has kind of broken the support. So basically in the bull market or let's say when the trend is very strong, these supports are held and the stock moves up. But if there is some kind of a panic like the India, Canada thing and all of that, because of which there has been FIA selling and the support is broken. So in case more uh, selling comes in, we might even go as low as 19200 also because there is no support in between unless we make a new one. Okay, if we look at the mid cap index, so it has kind of made a evening star. But the good thing is it has not broken the previous week's low. Okay, so until and unless that is respected, probably we can just move sideways from here until accumulation uh, gets better and we start the next leg up. Oh, if you look at the small cap index, the small cap index has also done something similar. It has not broken the previous week's low. Okay, it is still uh, inside the uh, previous week's uh, up and uh, high and low. So as long as this stays, we should not even retest the 12,000 mark. But if a retest happens, that is uh, good for the long run as well if we go down and touch the 12,000 mark and then start a new leg up. Okay, so that is about the indices. To be honest, all indices look ugly except for the Nifty PSU Bank. Okay, so the Nifty PSU Bank was an outperformer. It uh, stood out from the crowd and it has really uh, done very well in this week, which was very bad for the broader market right so i had made a small video on even the psu banks and why these banks are rallying so if you have not checked that out you can check that out as well and why i'm bullish on the psu banking stocks okay so this index has legs to even go up like three percent before hitting the all-time high resistance maybe after that some uh, uh, cool off might happen but if the trend is strong it can take it out in one shot also let's see what happens because that high was like 13 years ago so i'm not sure how much uh, resistance that would offer okay so this is about the nifty psu bank so in that bank with uh, index which are the stocks that look extremely good so one is canada so this looks good for additional five eight, six percent move before it hits the next resistance if that is also taken out the uh, other resistance is at 464 if it kinds of cools off then the support is at 344. So Canara Bank, very strong weekly closing also. Then comes Bank of Baroda, which has broken into new highs. 
right new 52 week high so this also looks very good uh, and the stop loss for this one in case someone wants to trade it would be very close hardly two and a half percent around 210 okay and then union boy so this one has made a inverse head and shoulder pattern also and looks very good it has broken out so looking at this particular pattern and the target the target comes somewhere close to 160 which is like a good 60 percent higher but there would be it won't be like one shot move it would be like over a period of few weeks with some consolidation reaccumulation and then a push higher okay so this is about the three banks which look very good along with the uh, PSU banking index so one infra stock which has done excellently well in the last uh, uh, let's say one year is the Ramke infrastructure so this stock has moved from 130 140 odd levels to 600 which is like crazy but it continues to move higher uh, making newer highs so this is one stock that looks good one more stock which is very interesting i had even tweeted about this is kaveri seeds this usually does well in after the q2 results because that is when the all the sowing happens after the monsoon right so this one after a very long consolidation has actually broken out so this can also do pretty well and it has it is in stage two also so let's see if uh, the momentum continues probably this should also do very well so for the week coming by i don't think the small or the mid caps will are going to do extremely well unless the accumulation improves and also the nifty it has broken down so unless some kind of a buying comes in from the fis we can't be sure of where the bottom would be made so kind of a dicey week coming ahead uh, let's see what's in store for them. all right thank you